The course includes an extensive unit on climate change and requires all students to read the stern review on the economics of climate change, which was published last year. The course delves into the science behind the issue, the challenges it poses to business and government, as well as a discussion on possible solutions. In the fast changing world of modern healthcare, the job of a doctor is more and more like the job of a chief executive. The people who run hospitals and physicians practices don't just need to know medicine, they must also be able to balance budgets, motivate a large and diverse staff, and make difficult marketing and legal decisions. Environmental problems caused by hard rock mining involve water pollution by metals themselves, chemicals used in processing acid drainage and sediment. Metals and metal-like elements in the ore are toxic and prone to cause trouble by ending up in nearby streams and water tables as a result of mining operations. In recent years, there have been one or two significant happenings that have kept alive the hope that the deep sea may conceal strange links with the past. In December 1938, off the southeast tip of Africa, an amazing fish was caught alive, a fish that was supposed to have been dead for at least 60 million years. In multilingual countries, code mixing, the use of more than one variety in the same utterance or sentence, and code switching, the use of different languages or varieties between sentences is common and natural. Despite its frequency, or perhaps because of it, some scholars and self-appointed guardians of linguistic morality view both code mixing and code switching as a sign of linguistic deficiency.
In this landmark account, first published over 20 years ago, the author argues that the ignorance and lethargy of the poor are the direct use result of the whole situation of economic, social and political domination by being kept in a situation in which critical awareness and response are practically impossible. This disadvantaged are kept submerged. Students must observe lab safety regulations at all times. Students must observe lab safety regulations all time. It's the words of common occurrence that have different referential value. It's the word of common occurrence that have different common selves values. The office said Dr. Smith will arrive later today. The office said Dr. Smith will arrive later today. Student Services provides help with housing and transport. Student Services provide help with housing and transport. A study skill seminar is on for students who require assistance. Study skill seminar is for students who need assistance. Any textual references you make should be cited appropriately in the footnotes. Any reference notes you should be cited appropriately in the footnotes. The research paper should begin with a thorough review of the literature. The research paper should begin with a thorough review of the literature. The aesthetic implications of this study have not yet been fully explored. The implications of the study has not been fully explored. The inherent tension between these two features remains to be addressed. The inherent tension of between these two agents are going to study in this experiment. Journalism is the collection and publication or transmission of news. Journalism is the collection and the publication and the transmission of the news. There is a beautiful picture in front of me. I have got 40 seconds to talk about this picture. Let me have a close look at the picture. While having a close look, I can see several variations in the picture. From the picture, I can see a multiple bar graph comparing larger cities worldwide in millions. From the picture, I can see years from 1950, 2000 and 2015. From the picture, I can see Tokyo represents the highest, which is 36 in 2015. Whereas the smallest number is represented by London, which is 8 in 1950. Other than that, I can see New York, San Paolo, Mexico and Delhi and Mumbai and many other cities. Overall, the picture gives a lot of information regarding larger cities worldwide in millions.
There is a beautiful picture in front of me. I have got 40 seconds to talk about this picture. Let me have a closer look at the picture. While having a closer look, I can see several variations in the picture. From the picture, I can see comparison of consumption of kilocalories per day in different countries. From the picture, I can see the highest is represented by Africa, whereas the lowest is represented by North America. Other than that, I can see the lines representing Europe and Central Asia as well as the world. From the picture, I can see kilocalories from 2000 to 3006. From the picture, I can see the years from 1975 to 1995. Overall, the picture gives a lot of information regarding kilocalories of consumption by different countries. There is a beautiful picture in front of me. I have got 40 seconds to talk about this picture. Let me have a closer look at the picture. While having a closer look, I can see several variations in the picture. From the picture, I can see the injury locations. From the picture, I can see a pie chart. From the picture, I can see the highest is represented by home, which is 41.4%, whereas the smallest is represented by a school and child care, which is only 4.8%. Other than that, I can see others representing 2% roads and work and leisure and sports which is representing 17.1%. Overall, the picture gives a lot of information regarding injury locations. There is a beautiful picture in front of me. I have got 40 seconds to talk about this picture. Let me have a closer look at the picture. While having a closer look, I can see several variations in the picture. From the picture, I can see a line graph representing population growth and projected population of Sydney from 1976 to 2031. From the picture, I can see numbers from 0 to 600,000. From the picture, I can see years from 1976, 2001 and 2031. From the picture, I can see the highest is represented by 2031 projected whereas the lowest is represented by 1976 census. Overall the picture gives lot of information. There is a beautiful picture in front of me. I have got 40 seconds to talk about this picture. Let me have a closer look at the picture. While having a closer look, I can see several variations in the picture. From the picture, I can see a comparison of heights of three different towers in the world. From the picture, I can see the highest is represented by Taipei 101, which is 100,660 100, feet high, whereas the lowest is represented by Sears Tower in Chicago, which is only 1,450 feet in height. Other than that, I can see Petronas Tower in Kuala Lumpur, which is 1,483 feet height. Overall, the picture gives a lot of information.
There is a beautiful picture in front of me. I have got 40 seconds to talk about this picture. Let me have a closer look at the picture. While having a closer look, I can see several variations in the picture. From the picture, I can see different shapes, sizes, numbers and colors. From the picture, I can see a line graph representing manufacturing output in the UK across the years. From the picture, I can see the percentages from 98 to 108. From the picture, I can see years from 1999 to 2007. From the picture, I can see the highest is represented in 2001, whereas the lowest is represented between 2002 and 2003. Overall, the picture gives a lot of information regarding manufacturing output in the UK. Milk is not typical of all monasteries for many reasons. First, it is very grand which most, especially later foundations, aren't. Secondly, it was founded in the countryside, whereas in the 17th and 18th centuries, a good proportion of foundations were made in towns. Thirdly, it still owns a substantial amount of land, because fourthly, it lies in the Austrian Republic, the only European country where grand old monasteries have been in continuous existence since they were founded, 900, 1,000, even in one case, 1,200 years ago. The speaker was talking about Milk Monastery in Austria. The speaker talks about arena, specialty and insights. The speaker talks about 17th and 18th centuries and foundations and countrysides. The speaker talks about town areas and land and republics and grants. The speaker talks about 19,200 years ago. The speaker talks about Milk Monastery in Australia. The speaker talks about the monastery situated by the river and it is a huge building. The speaker talks about red color roof and the green color forest around the monastery. Overall, the lecture gives a lot of information regarding Milk Monastery in Australia. Corruption comes at a, a huge economic and social cost, and that cost is felt most acutely by the world's poor. Dr. Arnold has already given the staggering figure of $1 trillion US uh, that's paid in bribes worldwide. It is an extraordinary figure. It's a figure that equals 10 times what is paid each year by donors in international development assistance, 10 times development assistance. And even this huge amount, $1 trillion, could be an underestimate because it's very difficult to capture uh, a number of the more elusive transactions within the public sector that involve corrupt dealings, such as budget leakages and, uh, and asset theft. Corruption sharpens income inequality and it impacts disproportionately on the poor. In many countries, corruption works as a, as a regressive tax on household incomes. Regressive because it impacts much more on the poor than the uh, more wealthy. Compared with higher income groups, lower income families pay a much larger share of their incomes in bribes to access basic public services and their overall access to those services is reduced. The lecture was about corruption was development aid, financial flows. The speaker talks about corruption and economical and social cost. The speaker talks about world poor. The speaker talks about $1 trillion of payment. The speaker talks about bribes worldwide 10, 10 times. The speaker talks about donations 10 times and development assistance. The speaker talks about transactions within the public sector. The speaker talks about equality impacts and disproportionately on the poor. The speaker talks about impact compared with large amounts. The speaker talks about sharing of income. The speaker talks about access into services is re reducing. Overall, the lecture gives a lot of information regarding financial flows. This is Hans Krebs, who in 1937 published a paper showing the sequence of chemical reactions. 
by which energy is released in individual cells. Um, it's called the Krebs cycle, which some of you may remember from your chemistry course in high school. Krebs is a wonderful example to me of how a scientist who is determined can overcome all kinds of human obstacles. Krebs' father constantly discouraged him and told him that he had just mediocre intelligence and would never do anything important in his life as a teenager. Uh, what Krebs remembers in his memoir, his father said to him, you can't make a silk purse out of a sow's ear. And later on, when Krebs studied with the great biochemist Otto Warburg, Warburg also told him the same thing, um, not the same quotes, but that he had only mediocre ability and would never be a great scientist. And we all hear about how important it is for parents to encourage their children, but sometimes the children will go on to do great things no matter what we say to them. The speaker talks about hand scripts at the peak of his career. The speaker talks about hand scripts in 1976. The speaker talks about sequence of chemical reactions within the inner cells of the human body. The speaker talks about Krebs cycle. The speaker talks about energy cycle and overcoming. The speaker talks about human obstacles. The speaker talks about intelligence and important. The speaker talks about Krebs father and self first. The speaker talks about study of biochemist. The speaker talks about ability to be a great scientist. The speaker talks about parents encourage children. The speaker talks about no matter what happened. Overall, the lecture gives a lot of information. <coughs> to which of our senses do all of the following words relate? Opaque, vivid, brilliant, shiny. Vivid. Vivid. In a recession, does economic activity increase, slow down, or stay the same? Slow down, slow down. In medical terms, are antibodies harmful or beneficial for patients? Beneficial, beneficial. Would a person suffering problems with their vision consult a biologist or an optometrist? Optometrist, optometrist. Would fresh milk last longer in a fridge or in a cool cupboard? In a fridge, in a fridge. Historians use evidence to draw conclusions about the past. Would a contemporary artist's painting of an ancient battle be an original source or a secondary source? Secondary source. Secondary source. What is the subject of study at a culinary institute? Cooking. Cooking. Where would you expect to find equipment like microscopes, Bunsen burners, beakers, and petri dishes? Laboratory, laboratory. What is the name of the field of study that studies the human mind and behavior? Psychology, psychology. A planet or a galaxy that is very distant can be seen with what device? Telescope. Telescope.